The OmniChunk mod was a lot of fun, but it took a few attempts to get it right. In this video, I'm going to show you a few of our failed attempts, and I'm going to try and explain what went wrong. Hey. I see you there, Mr. Robot. I see you, Mr. Crafting Table. If you need to do any crafting, you can just use me. <laughs> <laughs> Does that work? <laughs> Does it? <laughs> so, Eddie, changes we make to one chunk affect all chunks. So you'll start oh, to see... <laughs> you see that? Yeah, you've literally placed that <laughs> everywhere. I guess if we need more wood, we can just plant a tree in every single chunk. <laughs> You'll see that torch appear ahead of you. What? <laughs> That's so cool. This is am I actually love this. <laughs> it's cool, isn't it? It might be a little bit laggy. It'll only be this bad when we're like doing a lot of mining, won't it? Yeah, but the game is called Minecraft. <laughs> I'm having to mine every block twice because of the lag yes. oh. yeah you got kicked again i think we're gonna have to come back to this another day eddie so what went wrong to answer this question i'm going to talk a bit about how the mod works it gets a little technical so feel free to skip ahead if this doesn't interest you the minecraft world is as you know divided into chunks when a new chunk is explored the omni chunk mod needs to know what changes to apply all of these changes are stored in something called the master chunk. Whenever you make a change to the world, the master chunk gets updated. The master chunk then gets applied to every chunk in the world. This meant that the mod would look at every single block position in the master chunk and copy any blocks from the master chunk to the target chunk. Now, a chunk consists of roughly 65,000 blocks. So every time the master chunk was being applied to a chunk, we had to check 65,000 block positions. If we did this to 10 chunks every tick, and the game is running at 20 ticks per second, we were looking at 13 million block positions every second. To fix the problem, we had to rethink how the master chunk gets stored. Most of the block positions in the master chunk are actually empty, since the master chunk only gets populated when you place or break a block in the world. So storing and checking 65,000 blocks is quite wasteful and not really necessary. Instead, the mod now works by storing a list of changes. If you place three blocks in the world, then the master chunk is a list of three changes. Now, when we apply the master chunk to a chunk, we only need to apply these three changes instead of checking for changes across all 65,000 possible block positions. As a further optimization, the mod stores the last change number that was applied to each chunk. So if we go and revisit an old chunk, it only needs to apply changes that were made to the master chunk since that chunk was last loaded. This works a lot better than the first iteration. Finally, we were ready to play. So, not like the ideal situation. It's not the best possible spawn. Let's head for land so you can see like an infinite horizon of dirt lines. So, if we make a little bridge as you're doing, it should just carry us eventually to land. That is so cool. So, so we can literally just follow this forever. I'm changing well, tracks. Paul, it's a race now. I can't look to the side because then I'll fall off. This is really bad. Like, the sun is setting and. We have nothing. I don't know about you, I've got one dirt block. Okay, so we've we've basically built kind of a mob spawner on the water. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. This is going on forever. I'm going to stop sprinting. I guess you didn't want to win the race then. I'm not sure how much longer you wanted to go for. Um, Until we beat the Ender Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Land ho! Finally. Can you imagine dying now and being sent all the way back? That's why. Oh, there's a zombie. Oh, Eddie, Eddie, help! Help! No! I don't know which way to go. What are your coordinates? Oh, do you know what, Eddie? <laughs> Let's start over. 